So are you a renter? Yes. Okay. And you live with family? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And how would you describe the type of structure that you live in? Such as, um, would you say this is a townhome, um, apartment, I guess? Apartment. Okay. So you're in an apartment. You share a wall with a neighbor, but mm-hmm. not on the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you live in an apartment. And how long have you lived here? Um, I've lived here for almost two years, I think. Two years? Okay. And well, you said yeah, you live year. with your mom? Mm-hmm. Is she the main, like, renter for the apartment, or y'all rent together? I am. You are. Okay. Alrighty. And then, have you always lived in Wayne County? Yes, I, I have. Know you talked about that a little bit earlier. Yes, okay. I have. Most. So, you've lived in Wayne <laughs> County most of your life. Okay. So, how did your family end up in Wayne County? Uh, or have y'all always been in Wayne County? We have always been here. <laughs> okay. I was just born in Savannah. So. Okay. So most of your family has grown up in this area mm-hmm. or close by, yeah. as far back as you know, mm-hmm. kind of? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. So historically, you would say your family is from Southeast Georgia? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Mine is, as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, oh, so I'll share a little bit. I t- talked about this um, earlier, too, but um, I live with my sister, and we live in a little duplex house. And uh-huh. I technically rent from her. But she is a homeowner. Yes. So I am a renter <laughs> as well. And similar to an apartment, but a little different, I guess. Yes. So. All right. And then let's see. Okay, we talked about where you're from, how long you've been here. And we talked about your house. So we'll go to our next page here. We get to skip over a lot of things depending okay. on what you answer. So that's good. It doesn't take too long. Okay, so our next section is when we're going to actually be talking about solar power or solar adoption. And uh, so remember, no right or wrong answers. This is just what you think and how you feel. All right, so first question, have you ever invested in any kind of solar technology, either on the rooftop of a home or on your property or as part of a business or any program through your utilities? No. No, never used any solar power. Okay. Is there any, have you ever like heard of anything like that with photography? I'm just curious. No. Okay, I didn't know if you know. No. thought of that because I know you're probably a lot more tech savvy yeah. than me, so you might have heard of something that I haven't heard of. Okay, so never used solar power before or installed anything? No. no. Okay. Alrighty. So then, let's see. I'm going to make sure I don't, I'm sorry, I got to read for a second, make sure I don't skip over any questions. Okay. So, Devante, tell me why you do not have rooftop solar technology. Did you make that decision, or was it made for you, or just... I pretty much just went with the flow. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I didn't... I mean, it's not my choice, I guess, or not my... I okay. just kind of went with it. So. Why would you say it's not your choice? I mean, it could be, but uh, I never thought of never just, thought of it. Okay. So. Yeah, just not something that crossed yeah. your mind before. Mm. Okay, now do you know in your apartment complex if that's something like that if you wanted to try, they would let you do it? Or um, you, what do you think? Uh, probably have to ask. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, I was just curious. It's okay if you don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just wondering what you thought. Okay. So let's see. The next few questions kind of relate to that as well. So you said you're a renter. So would you, if it was available to you for your apartment, would you want to try it? And then why or why not? Um, possibly. Cause I think they say that it normally makes things easier mm-hmm. and it helps out a lot. Okay. Versus, I guess just going with the flow. Okay. If that makes sense. <laughs> so it could be beneficial to you. Yeah. In some way. Okay. Do you feel like you know enough about it to like, or would you need need or want to know more about it first? Yeah, probably have to yeah. <laughs> need to know more okay. about it first. But you would be open to the idea of it if it was an option yeah. for your apartment? Okay. Okay. Very cool. So you don't feel like being a renter could hold you back from having solar power if you wanted it? No. No. Okay. Cool. All righty. So our next little set, that's kind of all we need for that section there. So our next little set of questions um, is going to involve a little bit of drawing. 
for you. Well, not drawing, but we're going to use these pieces of paper over here. So we're going to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. And first I have here a map of the United States. And I just want you to look at the map, think about it for a second, and think about where you think the most people would adopt solar technology or invest in it the most. And wherever you think that is, if you just could circle it or like mark it on the map. Be more than one place or just one place, just wherever you think in the United States the most people would be likely to adopt solar technology? No right or wrong answer. It's just what you think. I don't even know what the right or wrong answer is. So when you write it, I'm not going to judge. I have no idea. I'm like, I'm like I have no clue. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Probably larger, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so that would make sense. A larger state, more likely to have people yeah. use it. There's more people there. Maybe. Could be, yeah. Okay. Cool deal. Alrighty, so we're going to do the same thing on the second page. Just behind it, there's a So in our lovely little home state, where do you think the most people in Georgia would adopt solar technology? And you can take a second to think about it again. No right or wrong answer, just wherever you think and why. I said Atlanta, because it's a big area. And more, I guess more... Uh, have a better chance of, op I guess, an option because it's more people. Okay. And, like, I guess with, with it being here, a small town, not many people hear about it. Mm -hmm. or it. Or it may not cross. Well, I could I could be wrong. Yeah. Because, because with a smaller town, uh, it could be less money. Not, mm -hmm. not, you, you, it'd be less expensive. Mm-hmm. It can, it can go either way. Yeah. It can. Literally, it can. Because we're here. I mean... Yeah, that's an interesting thought process. Yeah. Because with less people, with less people, they always try to find the easy, easy resource. Uh, something that's easier. Something that doesn't take uh, take long to do or, or, or that long versus a big city. Mm -hmm. You have to go through all these different things and... and, and which I guess it would be more expensive. I guess mm -hmm. um, would, would have been a smaller town. People always try to find the the easy, the the more or less costs that they have to spend out of pocket. Yeah. Okay. I think I, that makes sense to me. Yeah. They don't have much to deal with. I guess I don't know. I'm trying to put it some way. Okay. So you said again, Atlanta, because more people are there, and then you were thinking. It could reverse. Yeah, comparing the small town to the big town. Because they would probably want something, want something that's is like a very, I guess, an easy access. Uh -huh. And uh, I guess with small towns, most of the time they 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 do like stuff that doesn't that doesn't require a lot. I guess. Yeah. And then okay, and so you mentioned kind of the cost a little bit. I want to make sure I understood right. So you're thinking maybe for Atlanta, like they'd be like, we don't care about the cost, we'll spend it anyway. Yeah. Like, the cost isn't as important. So, yeah. But then in a small town, you're like, well, we want to save money. Money, yeah, pretty this much. This might help us save yeah. money, or maybe we won't do it if we want to save money. So, yeah. the small town might be looking more towards we want to save the money. Yeah. The big town's like, we don't care. Yeah, yeah, Spend pretty whatever. much. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Okay, that kind of answers the rest of my questions. So, um, kind of one final question then. Um. What about most of your friends or family that you know in this area? Do you know anybody um, else that has solar technology in Wayne County or Southeast Georgia? Okay, so you don't know anybody that has it no, I, or uses it for anything really? No, I never even probably paid attention. Okay, so it's possible oh, no. they do, but possibly, you just noticed. Possibly, <laughs> I have never probably even asked or ever thought about it. So. Okay, so if they do, it's not something noticeable or that's ever mm -mm. come up in conversation. Mm -mm. Okay, and then... Assuming that they don't have it, do you think, why would you guess um, they wouldn't have it in this area, like your friends or family? Um, I guess if they didn't talk about it, I guess. Okay. I mean, it's probably, I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's something to talk about, but mm -hmm. I mean, but I feel like if, if it's, if it's a big deal, if it's something that's, mm -hmm. that can help us all, why not share it? Why not? Why not give that? Why not give the idea 
But if it's not important, if you you know if you say well it's not important, you know you're not gonna hear about it. But if it was if it was important, that can help me and you. Mm-hmm. At least they would gave us the idea of thinking about it. Okay. Yeah. So they just <laughs> people haven't talked about it. They haven't really heard about uh-uh. it. But maybe if they did, you know, if they yeah. saw the importance of it, they might talk about it. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Very good.